All right, so now I'm watching this show called Keep Breathing. It's a limited series, about six episodes, 30 minutes a piece. So let's get to episode one, spoiler alert, and all that good shit. So we got this lady by the name of Liv. Her occupation is like some type of security lawyer. She's talking to this lady by the name of Ruth over the phone, and she never really takes days off like that, but for some reason she's taking off two days to go to this place called New York. The problem is her plane's been delayed, and they're saying that she might not even have a flight till tomorrow. The problem is she needs to catch this flight today because she's supposed to be meeting up with some lady there. The thing is, the lady doesn't know she's coming. In the flashback they give us, they give us like, I think she's like some type of mother figure, maybe? So while she's talking to Ruth, we get this flashback about when she was at her job. She had met this other lawyer there by the name of Danny. Before we even get to him, we hear these other two guys talking. One's named George, the other named Sam. She overhears them talking. They're supposed to be flying past this place called Eunuch. So she's desperately begging to hitch a ride. She's talking about she'll offer them like $1,000 a piece, all this other shit. So after some convincing, she's riding with the crew. Apparently, they got their own plane, so it's just them three riding out there. She gets on the phone for a little bit, and George is like, hey, stop messing with your phone. <laughs> so then Liv gets to talking to Sam. Sam tells us that he's actually a National Geographic photographer or whatever like that, and he's going out there to shoot, uh, you know, pictures. But when he asks Liv, Liv doesn't really get into the backstory. She's kind of rude a little bit, but Sam don't mind. George don't give a fuck about none of that shit. They just try to get their destination. <laughs> So they all got these special type of headphones so they can hear themselves through the wind and whatnot. But apparently she's about to take a nap. So she puts on her own special pair of headphones. I guess she's got some relaxing music going through there. But I'm like, uh, didn't he tell you not to use your phone or anything like that? Because it could mess with all the equipment inside the plane. So anyway, she's going to sleep. We had this flashback. Liv gets together with her homegirl, Ruth. Liv thought it was some business stuff, but Ruth was basically trying to set her up with Danny. Now, she's kind of strict about her policy about not dealing with co-workers. But she's off the clock and both of them are. So it's like, what harm can it do? Next day, you know, she wakes up, something's wrong with the plane, it's malfunctioning. They end up crashing through trees and hitting the water. Like, oh shit. Liv wakes up, she undoes her belt, she undoes Sam's and George's. Sam tried to get the hell out the plane, tell Liv and George to come on. The problem is a pole went through George's leg and he's pretty much stuck there. Liv tries everything she can to get the pole out, but George is like, just go. Liv ends up getting to the surface and George is done deal dead as shit. She finds Sam on the surface, but he's like all flailing away because we find out he can't even swim. I think to myself, you've been in these type of areas all the time, you never picked up a how to fucking swim. Anyway, she tells him to kick his feet and she's trying to drag him over to the land. She gets him over to the land, but Sam is pretty much passed out. Then we find out the reason he wasn't kicking real well is because he has a piece of metal stuck in his leg. She tried to tear it out, and that's when Sam woke up. Basically, she had to find some way to wrap some gauze around it so it could stop the bleeding. Afterwards, Sam passed out again. So Liv is grabbing both of their phones, but they can't get no damn signal. She's going through her pockets and his pockets, and they find out like two power bars and a thing of water, so they gotta make that last. Then she goes up on a higher plateau to try to see if she can get the cell phones working, but again, they ain't got no damn service, so yeah. She gets some sticks together, tries to light a fire, but a lighter ain't shit. I'm like, girl, you better rub some sticks together and get cracking. So later on, she goes and breaks off a bunch of tree branches and stuff like that. She uses that as cover so they can go to sleep. It's nighttime at this point. Sam has still been laying there the entire time. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, she probably doesn't want him to move, but then I'm like, is he just passed out because of shock? I mean, like, what's the deal? Next day they wake up, he is still laid out. So then we get to this flashback of when Liv and Danny was still hanging out that night. And Danny ended up clapping her cheeks, giving Liv the business. Then we see Liv as she wakes up, she's carving some message into the wood. Like this big piece of wood that's like sitting over on the bench or whatever. Then all of a sudden she hears Sam waking up. Sam, I mean, Liv is like, yo, I wrapped your leg up, everything's gonna be fine. He's like, nah, man, my stomach hurting. So she lifts up his shirt and we see that he's got like ridiculously broken ribs all over the place. I'm like, damn. So even if he could swim, it'd have been hard as shit for him to do anything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so she's thinking to herself, even though they ain't got no signals, they're like, well, they're gonna find out that you didn't get to your destination. Somebody's gonna come out here. We're gonna be fine. And basically he's like, nah, nobody's coming out here. And he tells her he basically lied about being a photographer for the National Geographic. I'm like, what the fuck? And after that, he just dies for real. I'm like, damn. So she is literally on her own right now. Last thing we see is her digging through the water. We see this picture in the water. She picks up the picture and it's a fucking sonogram. I'm like, what? My thing is, is it her picture? Is she pregnant? How long ago was this date between her and Danny? Was it Sam's picture? Did he have a girl that was about to have a kid? And that's pretty much how the first episode ends. So now you're basically thinking to yourself, how the hell is she going to survive out here? I ain't seen no fish in the water. I ain't seen no animals. All the trees are basically like evergreen trees. So there ain't no food growing out that shit. I ain't seen no goddamn berries. Only thing she got right now is two power bars and a bottle of water. So I'm definitely curious how she's going to get through all this. Keep breathing on Netflix. Check that shit out.